Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy, Marcus Elbow. Welcome to Healthy Music Podcast. And all my healthy people, I hope that y'all are doing good. And I hope that you're making great music. Now, th- this topic is going to be a touchy one. I already know. Cat's going to jump inside of the comments and try to attack me. Bro, I'm not trying to say nay or yay. I just want to ask the question. Are we really still feeling like getting old gear and working the old way is still something that people or want to hear or, or or the frustration that we're willing to go through to make music on these old pieces of gear. Is it worth it? Hey, live better, feel better. You'll make better music. music. I'm just trying to understand. And I, I wish y'all could, you know what I mean? Get in the comments and help me understand. Like I get the nostalgia, right? I am my old head. Like the kids say, Uh, I've been making music since the 90s, and I remember the analog. I remember the tape decks. I remember the ADATs. I remember the sound of how that music used to sound. Like, I remember all of that, and I miss it. I do. I love it. You know what I mean? But one thing I just know that I'm not willing to do is I'm not trying to go back to making music the way I used to make music on my ASR 10 and my TS-12. Like, it was a headache, bruh. Like having all them damn this and you know what I mean, trying to keep track of sounds and this. Hey, bro, like I remember them nightmares. You know what I mean? And and at the time, it it wasn't a big deal because it was cool. It was alright. Like that's what we had. We didn't know anything. That's like playing a Nintendo and then somebody got a PS5 and you like, yo, why the hell am I playing this? You know what I mean? The only reason why. I would ever play a game like that is for the nostalgia. You know what I mean? But when it comes to being creative, I like the technology of today. You know what I mean? As far as me getting the sound that I want, because I know that's what this is all about. I'm going to figure out a way to get the sound. I don't give a damn if I got to have an analog heat, uh, the way that I mix, the way my sample sound. If I got to get the sample from EXE, I'm going to make it sound the way that I want it to sound. But I'm not fit to be producing on no damn ASR 10 uh, and all of these old MPCs. And and y'all just got to get down in the comments and help me understand why would I ever want to do that? You know what I mean? And and if you're talking about sound, I'm just not going to talk about that because I know how to make my music sound the way I want to make it sound. You know what I mean? But as far as the the workflow, man, I I just I just can't do it. I'm, I'm being real with you. Like I have nightmares thinking about the way that I used to work with my old drum machine and and my old equipment. Like, and and when I say night, it's like, I think about all of those nights that I struggled with MIDI and I struggled with, you know, getting the machine to do what I wanted to do, not having enough memory to be able to sample as long as I want to sample, even though I didn't do a lot of sampling. I used to do all my hooks and stuff with my SR10 and make beats with it. But I just remember all of that frustration and I just love the way things are today. I love the way technology is. I love the touch screens. I just love the workflow because I don't have to struggle with the machine. All I need to struggle with is the creativity. But I, I see what EXC did uh, with, with Rosm, and I think that is awesome that they brought that machine back and they, they you know what I mean? So all of them within the matter of a couple of days, I think that's cool. I wanted the SP 1200 back in the day. I just could not afford it. But, yo, I, <laughs> I just don't know, man. But I do got this video up of this cat working with the SP. And it's not the SC, but you know what I mean? He did a pretty dope beat. Let's check it out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't do it. That's a pretty dope beat, though. That's a dope beat, but but seriously though, like <laughs> that beat is is dope. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I ain't going through the hassle, bro, of making my beats with the old gear. Like, I'm just not going to do it, man. Y'all, y'all probably going to beat me the hell up behind this. I don't want ESK putting the hit out on me and all that. You know what I mean? I'm just telling y'all the truth. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to do it, bro. I'm just not going to go back. I don't give a damn how many old machines they bring back. You know what I mean? I might buy ASO 10 just to have it in the, in the studio. You know what I mean? Just to look at it and be like, ooh. Well, I remember your ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I ain't doing it, man. So I really just wanted to make this video, man, to really get y'all to talking about this with me. Um, I, I really don't talk about old gear a lot um, because I'm really, I mean, I have a lot of new gear. I mean, I don't have a lot of old gear, of course, but um, I just want to talk to y'all and y'all kind of just let me know what what is it about besides the sound. You know what I mean? I know about the sound. So let's not talk about that. Let's talk about that workflow, though. Are y'all cool with this workflow and having a limited amount of memory, limited amount of just damn near everything? I understand limitations sometimes can make you creative. I get that. But God damn it. No, no, I don't. I don't. Uh -uh. No, 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 I'm not done. And I, I heard the new uh, EXC 1200 has a, a memory card slot on it you know what i mean but you still only got like 20 seconds or something like that so i don't know bro maybe they just would have came with the same body but updated stuff like 10 minutes of sampling time and you know what i mean added some new custom features maybe came with a bigger screen maybe like a sp1200 2023 then hey yeah you know i mean you might you might have my attention you know what i'm saying but anyway listen Y'all already know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know how I feel about it, man. But listen, y'all go ahead on and get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, again, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with the nostalgia. I just have a problem with the workflow. If you're looking for any type of gear, though, man, check it out. You can run over to Zounds right now by hitting the link down in the description. You can get you some equipment, man. They don't even do a credit check for some of that stuff. So if you are got bad credit like me and you like, yo, bro, I can't get nothing. I can't even get a piece of bubble gum. You know what I mean? With my credit. Don't worry about it. Just go over there, man apply for uh the gear and you make it lucky that gear that you are trying to get maybe you know it probably doesn't even require you to have any good credit or a credit check at all they'll just let you pay for it monthly and they'll send it to you in two days it's crazy all right listen it's black friday week man so if you're looking to get some gear everything over at elbowmedia.com is on sale right now elbowmediastudios.com Run your ass over there, bro, and go get that course. Stop searching and start learning today. You already know what it is. And all I want to say is, man, all my healthy people, I see what you're doing, man. Eating better, feeling better, and making better music. I will catch y'all in the next one. Your boy Elbow out, man. Peace out.